question four, the curve C has an equation y equals f of x, and we're given three different points here. We're told that the gradient function, so f dash of s, that represents your gradient function. So where you would differentiate f of x, you would get f dash of x. So that tells us what, how to work out gradient at any point on that curve. The curve has a stationary point with x coordinate alpha, and alpha is small. Using the small angle approximation for cos x, we need to estimate the value of alpha to three decimal places. Okay, so you're given in your formula booklet, so you don't need to memorize these, you're given these, and the one that we'll be using. So when angles are small and measured in radians, we can replace sine theta with theta, cos theta with minus one theta squared over two, and tan theta is just theta as well. So this will work for any small angle approximations. So we're told that the curve has a stationary point with coordinate alpha. So at that point then, if I work out f dash of alpha, that's gonna be two alpha plus half cos alpha. And we know that at stationary point, f dash of alpha will be equal to zero. So at any stationary point, when you've got a curve like this, at a stationary point there like that, the, there is no gradient, so the gradient is zero. So therefore, two alpha plus half cos alpha is equal to zero. And what we can do in the essence then is replace cos alpha with this working here. So we get two alpha plus a half times one minus alpha squared over two equals zero. Let's expand and simplify a little bit. That gives us plus a half. And then if I times a half by minus alpha squared over two, that gives us minus alpha squared over four equals zero. So we've got a bit of a quadratic here. So let's neaten this up first of all. Let's times everything by four. And in fact, if I times everything by minus four, we'll get rid of the minus there. Should just make it nice and simple to look at. So that will be alpha squared minus eight alpha. And then four times a half will be minus two. Because we're times it by minus four there. And we've got a nice neat quadratic that we can solve from there. So using our calculators, we've solved that and we get either alpha equals 8.2426 dot 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 or alpha equals minus 0 0.2426 dot dot dot. And in this case here, because we're using small angles, this value would be too large. So this would be an invalid answer and the correct answer alpha will equal minus 0.243 to three decimal places. Now for part B, it says the point 03 lies on C and we need to find the equation of the tangent of the curve at P, giving the answer in the form y equals mx plus C, where m and C are constants to be found. Now if you think about this, what it's telling us is for this random curve f of x at the point 0, 03, so 0, 03 there, there is a tangent and we need to know the equation of this line here. Now the whole point of differentiating or to find f dash of x is to work out the gradient function. So we know when x is 0 we want to know what the gradient is at that point. So if I sub that in we know that f dash of x is 2x plus half cos x and when x equals 0 so f dash of 0 will be 2 times 0 plus a half cos 0 that cancels out and what we're left with is a half times cos 0 is 1 so it'll be a half times 1 so it's just a half and that is our gradient. And if that's the gradient for this line, then we know it's going to be in the form y equals half x plus c. 
and they've given us a lovely little coordinate here because that is the y-intercept at that point so therefore it'll be y equals half x plus three if they gave you a different point where the first number wasn't zero you would just sub that in to work out what c is um, using any coordinate that they've given you and you'll be able to work it out there Thank you.